In this video I'm going to show you how to remove a uh, flywheel from a small engine without using a, a flywheel puller. The easiest way to remove this uh, nut that holds on this flywheel is to use a uh, impact wrench um, and socket. But if you don't have that you can use a uh, strap, strap wrench like this. Um, place it around the flywheel. Hold it into place to get your socket and uh, ratchet. And and loosen it up like that. And you can remove this thing's got a plastic separate piece for the fins on the flywheel that just pops off. Next thing you want to do is take the nut that you just removed, um, place it back on the end of the crankshaft here to protect, protect the threads. Don't tighten it all the way down just so it's uh, about flush with the end of the, a little, little bit higher than the end of the crankshaft. Take a pry bar, uh, place it underneath the flywheel. Um, you want to choose an area, that, this is not the recommended method to remove a flywheel uh, and, and you run the risk of cracking the crankcase by doing it this way. So you want to pick a, a location on this crankcase where you feel it's uh, kind of reinforced. Um, Anyway, put the, the pry bar underneath the flywheel, apply some pressure, take a ball peen hammer and hit the end of the crankshaft. And that's how you remove a flywheel without a flywheel puller. On most flywheels there's usually a hole, um, about two holes about where my fingers are at and uh, what they're used for, they're threaded holes and what you can do is you can use them to uh, attach a puller to the flywheel and remove the flywheel. Um, that's usually the best way to remove these flywheels. However on this flywheel you can see there's no, there's no threaded holes to uh, attach a puller um, and there's very little service information on this engine so um, I don't see any other way of, of removing this flywheel than the way I showed you in this video. Uh, unless you can find a puller that's wide enough and can reach underneath this flywheel and grab a hold of it, um, I don't see any other way of doing it. Uh, if you know of a way, uh, leave it in the comments, comments section because I'd like to hear about it. If you use this type of method to remove this flywheel, um, you run the risk of damaging your crankshaft because you're hitting it with a ball peen hammer and that's why I put the uh, this, this nut back on to protect the threads, try to protect it as much as I can. Also um, when you're putting your uh, pry bar underneath the flywheel um, you're applying pressure to this crankcase and uh, you run the risk of, of cracking the crankcase. Also it almost seems like the older the engine is the harder it is to get the flywheel off so um, uh, this is this is relatively easy on this one, but uh, you know it can it can be a tough job. So uh, proceed with caution when you're doing this type of thing. Just a side note here: this is a, a Harbor Freight Predator engine, and I know it's a Chinese-made engine, and it's a knockoff of the Honda GX series engine. I noticed they have uh, some tapped holes here underneath the flywheel, and I was wondering if that is for adding uh, a stator assembly to this engine. Um, I'm really curious to know if you could you can add an alternator to this engine. I did notice that the flywheel is missing any magnets on the inside of the flywheel, so that would be a problem. Um, if you were to add an alternator, you'd probably have to change the flywheel. But um, if there's anyone out there that's ever done that, um, added an alternator to this engine, uh, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know. I'm really curious to know if, if, if that's possible. But anyway, I, I hope you found this video helpful, and uh, thank you for watching.